हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस पैसिव रेजिस्टेंस एंड एजुकेशन बाय महात्मा गांधी फ्रॉम द पेपर लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिज्म एंड लिटरेरी थ्योरी सो व्हाट इज पैसिव रेजिस्टेंस महात्मा गांधी डिसलाइक द टर्म पैसिव रेजिस्टेंस एज इट इन्वॉल्व एक्टिविटीज सच एज मास डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन रिफ्यूजल टू ओबे और कैरी आउट अ लॉ और द ब्लॉकेज ऑफ रोड्स इकोनॉमिक बॉयकॉट्स एंड अदर सिमिलर एक्टिविटीज The idea of adopting passive resistance was to jam the administrative machinery without doing any harm to it. Thus, the core principle of passive resistance was to put pressure on government. Hind Swaraj was written in the midst of passive resistance as Satyagraha was there to secure the basic human rights of the people. Mahatma Gandhi named the passive resistance. Sorry, Mahatma Gandhi named it passive resistance that is to fight against something evil but never hurting the opponent. Passive resistance is a form of non-violent coercion. It seeks to compel the opponent to do something against his will. Whereas Satyagraha is not intentionally coercive. It seeks always to convert the opponent to pursue voluntarily what is right. And he explained passive resistance as a method of securing rights, but going through personal suffering. So he says that passive resistance is not for weak, but for strong. It Gandhi says that passive resistance is not a weapon of the weak it is a weapon of the strong as people go through personal suffering to secure their rights so the next topic is education what education means according to gandhi so he has point out what education means according to him so he was more concerned with what education has to do in in one's individual's life so he was more focused on that particular point that what education will provide us by the end of the 19th century the modern education system totally replaced the old and indigenous system of education in india the first law education commission was established by lord macaulay the system in the villages that ran public institutions like temples hospitals and schools were replaced with the advent of british this led to the adoption of the english language destroying the indigenous acceptance from the younger generation Gandhi's theory of education evolved against these glaring differences. He was against English education and Dharma education. He was more concerned with what education has to offer to the individuals in terms of development and not its tool and subjects. To him, education is also an awakening of the soul and strengthening of the inner voice. He highly disapproved of the education system in India as being harmful, wasteful, unethical, and artificial. he prescribed vocational and manual training for each individual gandhi's view coincides with the bread and butter scheme and aim of education which provides education to acquire basic necessities of life learning while earning or vice versa is one of the basic components of the self supporting system he laid greater emphasizes on hand heart and head rather than on reading writing and arithmetic so for gandhi vocational education was more important than english education or dharma education he was against english education and dharma education he, so he was more concerned with what education has to offer to an individual and according to him the uh, education system of india was harmful and wasteful he was in the favor of vocational education and self supporting system he was more concerned with what individual wants to do in his life how he wants to earn his daily bread and butter he was more concerned with that particular for him knowledge is more important than english education or dharma education if a person is if the, if a person has knowledge of doing something and earning his livelihood then that is what education means for an individual true education as gandhi and vision also focuses on social welfare he was in favor of the young serving the villages and attaining sarvodaya he viewed social services as an inherent part of education thus gandhi was against the education of letters he believed in knowledge which helps us to enrich our culture so basically gandhi wanted youth to serve the society and the nation he wanted youth to work for the betterment of the society 
and to attain sarvodaya. He also viewed social service as an inherent part of education. For him, social service is also a part of education. Gandhi was always against education of letters and he always believed that knowledge is what knowledge is what which will enrich our culture knowledge is the ultimate source so i hope you understood the video and if you have any doubt you can comment on the comment section and if you like the video you can do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you